Intel and AMD just released their new processors and with prices ranging all the way from $250 to roughly $600, how much should you really be spending on a CPU for gaming and work? Well, that depends on how much of either activity you'll be doing, so let's break it down into three different scenarios. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insane low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal and once the payment is cleared you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10 just search activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more be sure to click the link in the description below. Alright so the first scenario 100% gaming usage. So let's assume you're only playing games and doing very little else on your PC. Well right away Way, at least with current CPUs, we can immediately eliminate all expensive high core count processors, which just leaves you with eight and six core variants ranging from $250 to $480, depending on how fast of a CPU you need. And we can answer that question based on how much FPS you want to achieve. According to an article from TechSpot, we can see here that by comparing all Ryzen 9000 and Core Ultra CPUs that just came out, all modern CPUs can achieve an average frame rate of well over 120 FPS, so this makes the first buyer's job pretty easy. Now, if you're gaming at 120 to 144 hertz right now, literally buy the cheapest modern CPU you can get, such as the Ryzen 5 7600X or 9600X, so I'd suggest spending around $200 to $250. Yes, better CPUs will give you a slightly better experience, especially in the 1% lows for gaming, and of course, multi-core and other tasks on your PC will be a lot better, but overall, it won't be necessary unless you're trying to future-proof, and in fact, if you're still on AM4, I highly, highly suggest still picking up a 5800 or 5700X 3D, as they're still going very strong for gaming and are a very affordable drop-in upgrade. I'll have an affiliate link in the description below alongside my other top recommendations. But if you want a solid 240 hertz average frame rate, well, you're gonna have to step up to a faster CPU, such as a Ryzen 7 7700X or 9700X for on 200 170 to 330 dollars on the am5 platform at least for online games and if you want a more consistent 240 hertz experience or you'll want to go for 360 hertz or even 480 hertz, God forbid, in more online games, well, I'd suggest increasing your budget closer to $500 for a 7800X 3D or 9800X 3D. But what if you play games and work on your PC as well? In that case, you definitely wanna prepare to buy at least an eight core CPU, so a minimum buy-in of $270, but you may wanna buy an eight core 9800X3D CPU for around $480 if you want the best gaming performance and good multi-core as well. However, if the work side is more important to you, you may wanna consider upping your limit to $500 to $700 for a 7950X, 9950X, or even 9950X3D. If you want incredible multi-core performance and even the $400 265K might be worth Worth considering at close to $400 depending on the motherboard and CPU prices, though it will fall a bit short in gaming compared to the best Ryzen CPUs. And then finally, the last scenario, if work is your main focus with lots of CPU rendering, well, I hate to tell you this, but I would at a minimum pick up a 9950X or 285K close to $600. And you may even want to consider the Red Ripper CPUs, which can get as high as $10,000, though most would probably be with a one to two thousand dollar thread ripper for more than 16 cores but if you're still not sure you can go ahead and ask me or others in the comments below for help and just remember to always buy what you need and only splurge on more if you have a lot of extra cash and you don't mind getting diminishing returns if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.